Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. Uh, today we're going to be trying out a foam cannon. And now this is something that I've wanted for quite a long time, uh, but I have not been wanting to spend, you know, the big bucks on the foam cannon. If you look at places like Chemical Guys or, you know, Adams, they're selling these little foam cannons for your pressure washers for like almost a hundred dollars. Uh, well, I came across one on Amazon, and I've heard about it uh, from a couple different people. That's only $16.99 or something like that, and I figured I'd order it up and give it a shot. So let's take a look at what we got. So this is it. This is all the foam cannon is, is it's just a little bottle that you put soap in, and uh, it's supposed to make some foam. Um, you know, you guys have probably seen videos, you've seen detailer pages and pictures on Instagram that have a vehicle that's completely covered in a thick white soapy foam. Uh, well, this is the guy that's supposed to do it. What we've got is we've got the uh, quarter inch quick connector so you can connect that to the end of your nozzle. Um, I, if you remember a few videos back, I did purchase an electric pressure washer and this will not work on that handle. So I've got another handle that we could try this out on because we're going to try this out. We're going to see exactly what this is all about because like I said, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Um, I think it's supposed to do a good job at conditioning your uh, clear coat, conditioning your paint, and it's just supposed to make washing a bigger vehicle a lot easier. So uh, we're going to hook this thing up and we're going to give it a try. Hey guys, it is now Easter Sunday, so happy Easter. Like I said yesterday to everybody, if you don't celebrate it, then just ignore that I said happy Easter. Uh, but today we're going to try the foam cannon, as I said in the introduction of this video. Uh, another nice day out here, and it's actually nice enough for a sleeveless shirt and shorts and some sandals. Uh, so that's awesome. So I really needed to watch the truck, but I haven't been paying much attention to the Mustang in the past couple of weeks due to the fact that it has been raining and everything. So uh, we've got the foam cannon hooked up. We've got it hooked up to the quick connect on the uh, pressure washer nozzle and everything. I will show you guys all that uh, here in just a second. So here's the pressure washer, of course. It's all hooked up, ready to go. I just need to turn the water on. Uh, we've got the nozzle set up here. I had to get a different nozzle, like I said. Uh, this actually I borrowed it from my dad. So this is just a regular nozzle for uh, a gas pressure washer that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's or um, you know Menards, some places that sell uh, pressure washers. I'm sure we'll sell that. Uh, here's the actual cannon, and it hooks up with that quick uh, quick disconnect with that quarter inch um, connection. And right now I've got it pretty full of uh, car wash soap. And what I used is, uh, just to see how everything works, I've got McGuire's Ultimate Wash and Wax. I use what I had left of that. And uh, this Rain-X Foaming Car Wash. And it's foaming car wash, so it should provide you know a lot more foam than what it normally would uh, being on the foam cannon. So we're gonna get this thing covered up in foam. Hopefully everything will work like it's supposed to. I still have the rinse bucket for my wash mitt because of course we're going to be covering the car in watery foam. Uh, we're going to be washing it and we still need something to rinse it in. So we are going to use that. And uh, so yeah, let me turn the water on and we are going to see how this works. Water is on. Let's turn on the pressure washer. And let's see if we can make some foam come out of this thing. Oh yeah, that's foam. Oh, yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we want. This is a $16 foam cannon from Amazon. And check out that thickness of that foam. That is exactly what we want. That is awesome. Really good purchase. We'll be linking that below in the description box for uh, you guys. So you don't go out and spend $100 on the Chemical Guys or the Adams one, but look at that foam, that is awesome. Been wanting to do this forever. part about this foam like I, I said before is the fact that you can just spray it on there 
let it condition your paint and just take your wash mitt and just wash it off. So there's no dipping your, your uh, wash mitt in a bucket uh, for soap to get more soap. All you have to do is rinse it and you're good to go with the rest of your foam. This is so cool. With the right soap, um, you know, the foam, you can get so much foam out of this. Like it's, it's cool. Highly recommend. <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't know how I've went so many years without using a foam cannon. Like, that was a lot of fun, and it made it a lot easier. I uh, went by a lot quicker, um, and like the best part about it is um, everybody knows that you must have lubrication. Lubrication is key to everything. Seriously, though, lubrication on your car, uh, just having all that foam there, consistent lubrication for your wash mitt or your sponge or whatever you're trying to use and trying to do, um, and uh, when your car has a fresh coat of wax on it or anything, it makes it even just that much better. It brought out a lot of depthness in the red just by conditioning the clear coat and having that foam stay on there uh, instead of just going back and forth to a wash bucket all the time. Uh, but anyway, can definitely say that I 100% recommend this. I will link it down in the description, like I said. Um, so if you're new to the whole foam cannon situation like I am, definitely go to Amazon, pick one of these guys up. Like I said, they're only 16 bucks. Uh, so definitely very, very, very worth it. Best $16 I spent in a while. Uh, now I'm going to get the truck done. Uh, yeah, highly recommend that foam cannon. And it's going to make washing the bigger truck a whole lot better. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Hope everybody's having a good weekend and is going to have a good week this week. Um, so thanks for stopping in. If you like the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, dislike the video, whatever you want to do. Um, as always, guys, we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Listen.